Hello, this is Dr. Elena Yustash and welcome to my show. Today I am interviewing very talented actor Vincent Ward. That's what people try to get at. You know, I made some bad decisions. Hung out with people who made even worse decisions. I set the fire last week. Thought if I said it and put it out, I'd be a hero. But then the back door locked on me. You saved my life. Get down your knees. We don't have no affiliation with what just happened. Tell him, Oscar. Stop talking, man. Now, we've all made mistakes to get in here, Chief. And I'm not going to pretend to be a saint, but believe me, we've paid our due. Enough that we would rather hit that road. Nice work. <laughs> Welcome, Vincent. Thank you. Thank you for having me. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm happy to be here, you know. I'm happy. I looked you up and you were first a basketball player, the best one in Ohio. One of the best. <laughs> one of the best. Then you became a dancer, mm -hmm. a model, and an actor. Yeah, I, I guess you can say I've always had the entertainment blood in me. I never really truly thought about being an actor. I sort of fell into it. So what does acting mean to you? It means everything. It means entertaining. It means sharing my gift to the world. That's my love and passion. Even though I never dreamed about being an actor, but you know, once I broke into it, that's the only thing I thought about doing. Who was your favorite actor to play with and fun and why? Probably Terry Crews. Terry Crews and Tashina Arnold uh, on a show called Everybody Hates Chris. Oh, I love that yeah, show. Yeah, <laughs> learned a lot from them, you know, how to be professional and just have fun on a job. You know, being there 12, 14 hours a day can be, it can give you a headache. Yeah. <laughs> you know, dealing with different personalities, but, you know, you can't take advantage of. You, gotta, you can't take advantage because there's a lot of people wish they were in your place. So watching those two, I learned a lot from them. What are you working on right now? I just got done filming a movie called 2016. It's actually a zombie flick with uh, Miguel Nunez, Tiny Lister. Most people know him as Debo from Friday. Uh -huh. uh, a young lady named Katie Albert. I got a couple of plays coming up. Uh, I got one in Youngstown, Ohio. Doing a lot of things uh, with my good friend named Tasha Biltmore. You are so masculine and so strong on the screen and sometimes very intimidating. <laughs> but how would you describe yourself in your personal life? I love my freedom. So just because I played a bad guy, <laughs> I'm just playing a bad guy, but not a bad guy in real life. I had the feeling when <laughs> I saw you. <laughs> if you could share a screen on a love scene somewhere in Hollywood with someone, who would it be? <laughs> oh man, probably Taraji P. Henson. You know, after seeing her in the, the love scene with Tyrese and Baby Boy, yeah. got me wondering, I'm like, hmm. <laughs> or Halle Berry, you know, the monster scene from Monsters Ball. Yeah. So, somebody that's fun, you know, that I feel, I have to feel comfortable. So what would you describe your perfect date like? I would like for my dates to, <laughs> See that? That was fun. Yeah. We laughed. <laughs> to laugh and just enjoy each other and being able to um, show public affection. You know, I love that type of stuff. If I'm feeling you, I don't mind holding your hand or kissing you in public or touching you or whatnot. I don't care who's looking. As long as you're feeling good and you don't feel like you're being disrespected, then... So you're very romantic. Yes, yes, I can be. <laughs> so who would be your dream girl, like if you would describe your dream girl? She has to have a nice personality. Have her head on straight, have some goals, some morals, uh, believe in God, and just no drama. Who wants a drama queen? I just want somebody that I can have fun with. I'm not even saying she has to be the prettiest girl. Just be a, a woman that's down for me and that support me just like I would support her. And if there would be three things that you would want to know about women. Do women really want to hear the truth? I feel that they don't want to know anything about your past dating and history of dating relationships because they just want to think that you're their only territory. The size really matter? Oh, uh, to some extent it does, but I feel like it's the whole package. Mm -hmm. The chemistry, the, the foreplay and what you can do. The mental stimulation. Yes. Mentally, <laughs> mentally stimulator. You don't have to worry about everything else. Yeah. Without love life in a marriage, can a marriage work? I don't think so. 
you guys will end up being like roommates if there is no love and passion. So some people do it for the kids, but it's not really marriage. It's more like roommate situation. Some people do it for the money too. Yes, there is different motives. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah, okay. <laughs> What's next for you? What is what is it that is your dream? Something you want to work on that you haven't accomplished yet? Well, you know, I play Oscar on The Walking Dead. Yes, I've seen it. Great yeah, character. <laughs> thank you. And I always tell people, I just don't want to play Oscar. I want to win an Oscar. Create my own shows and, and do bigger, bigger plays because I love theater bigger plays and bigger movies. My thing is, you know, go big or go home. Yes, think big. That's right. <laughs> Wonderful. I love the quote that you wrote that if you have God in your life, there is nothing that can stop you. Yeah, you have to have faith. It was so nice to have you here and I look forward to see you again and see your big legacy and be on a big screen and thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you for having me. Thank you. Thank you. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for watching my show. I hope you had a great time with Vin's board as much as I did. And I will see you next time for more fun topics. This is Dr. Elena Yustash. Bye-bye.